The other day you were talking about betrayal. Is it possible to know the criteria of betrayal? Is it a betrayal to get a divorce when the husband has always been jealous, abusive, has started to raise his hand, and the love has been gone for a long time? Is it a betrayal to be estranged from a mother who is a religious fanatic, and I am an object of humiliation, insult and criticism to her simply because I am not what she wants me to be? What exactly is the kind of betrayal that will be punished most severely later? Colleague, I was talking about the betrayal of those who trusted you. Let's focus here on those who trust you, which means there has to be trust. There has to be some promise, some reason to trust you. In this case, we are talking about certain kinds of promises made in social life. Politicians make promises and then don't keep them, a man promises a woman that he will carry her in his arms for the rest of her life, but he can't even lift her up to the second floor, not to mention everything else, and so on. I'm joking about the second floor, of course, but still, you promised something and didn't keep it, you did something else instead. What did you promise your husband? You must answer for yourself whether you are a betrayer to him or not. What did you promise your mother, did you make promises that you would belong to the same religious system that she belongs to? That you will tolerate everything that she gives you, including humiliation, for example? Based on these considerations, look for a reason why they have grounds to trust you. These promises may be spoken or unspoken. A tacit agreement can also be a promise. You let your mother insult you, you stay silent, two, three times, and she starts to think that this is the norm of life, that she can influence you this way. But, of course, no one is obligated to tolerate insults or humiliation. That is, of course, unless you have allowed others to treat you that way. Analyze your reasons. According to you, your husband is abusive, your mother is abusive, too many abusers around you, don't you think? Maybe you need to look inside yourself for something that made you agree three times that other people can treat you like this. And that's what you need to start working on. Once you fix it within yourself, the guilt will disappear as quickly as the problem you have to solve.